think of our whistling diesel field? Oh, dude, I love it. <laughs> okay, this is the much asked for. I won't normally do this on my channel, but a lot of people want to know about this Hilux. And, I mean, for good reason. It's pretty, pretty amazing. You've built a machine. I tried. <laughs> We're just going to go through it, each spot, everything that's been done really because it's basically a brand new car and you've done a lot for a brand new car. <laughs> Alright, we're starting with wheels and tyres. Yes, Maxxis Razor. Oh, <laughs> the Maxxis Razor. Uh, 305 70 17, which are a 34 by 12, I believe they measure to roughly. Uh, 17 by 9 uh, American Racing alloys on uh, neck 12 offset. Speaking with flat? Mm, maybe oh. not. <laughs> Might have something coming. We'll see. Okay. Suspension Good next. Suspension. Uh, Radflow 2.0s. Haven't got the remote resi or anything on them, but they, you can just basically put them straight on if you want to, which is handy. SPC upper control arms, adjustable, fat bars, diff drop, and that's the front end. Then rear what got. You, you forgot something. What, what's this one? What brand's that? <laughs> oh, that's um, Big Red Custom. Oh, Big Red Custom. Yeah. Rear suspension, 300 kilo constant. EFS leafs, I believe they are, with Radflow 2.0 shocks. I haven't got extended shackles, but the rear seems to be working pretty well with the locker though. Can't yeah. really go oh, wrong. Well, that's the next thing, isn't it? Yes, well, we'll get into that. Rear has factory e locker, so matched it with a um, Eaton e locker in the front from Harrop. Boys hooked us up, which was good. A uh, good bit of gear when it's installed correctly. <laughs> it's like... A few people were, I don't know if I didn't watch the whole video, they thought like there was a problem with the locker, but there, it was just his wiring. The wiring was actually fine. It was just he cable tied the the slack from the wire to a bit of the chassis and the, the plug had pulled apart a bit and it wasn't quite making contact. Yeah. So I just cut that cable tie, repinned it and it was all good. It was actually sweet. The, uh, fat bar sliders. They copped an absolute hiding and my sills are in one piece, which is good. Right. On the front, ambush bar. We got the ambush bar and nothing else. Oh, you had to, oh, cut, you, you had to cut the grill. Yeah. Had to cut the grill to make it fit. Because this is the 21 highlights. Yeah, and the so grill goes down to about here. The grill is different on this. Yeah. Um, on the bull bar, got GME whip for a GME XRS. Um, carbon winch, that's the 9,500 pound one. Wow. Did, Yes, wireless, which is very handy. Very Jake impressive. wanted to be an idiot. Oh. Oh, a few people asked why I went the 9,500 rather than 12,000. Uh, pretty much they're the exact same motor, uh, but just different gearboxes. Both of them are just as strong. The 9,500 is a lot faster. Free spool, I think. Ah, it's about three times as fast as the three spool. Okay. And then if you hook up a winch block, Correct me if I'm wrong, but then I got double the winch power and it'll still be faster because it's three times. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, so, so the gearing in it, I thought if I need that extra power, I just hook a snatch block up and it's still faster than the 12,000 pound would be. But yeah. they're just as strong. Right mm. side? <laughs> winch pulls things. <laughs> <laughs> Fat bars, stainless snorkel. And um, then also got all the chrome blacked out. So the mirrors, the badges, the handles. Got all that done by Crumbin Auto Body. Yep. Just did a Awesome job, so I prefer the gloss black a lot more than the chrome. Yeah, well it looks tidy. It looks tidy on this colour, yeah. Tray. Yes, we'll go to the tray. This is, a lot of people want to know. They just want to know. Yes. Um, Tell so, us about it, So, I built it in the garage at home. That's bit impressive. Of, bit of shed loft. Oh, it looks like nothing I've ever seen, really. The finish is great. Who painted yeah. this one? Uh, crumb and Auto Body well. painted it. Um, it's powder coated underneath as well, so powder coated then painted, so it's solid. SEQ fabrications in Burley did the boxes and the guards and the tie down rails, so I mean I could just bolt them straight on. That's um, right, eh? Yeah. It's so sick. Yeah. And so dimensions? Dimensions, it's 1730 wide because I made it a bit narrow because I had the tie down rails which stick out another 55 mil. Yeah. So overall then it's about 18. So it's actually skinnier than a tub. Yes. The tub is actually wider than that would normally be. So you can see it sort of sits right in line with the cab doors, but then those tie down rails stick outside a bit. Two tone paint, um, textured, powder coated floor. It's pretty similar with your front flare though. Like yeah. Your flare, like your flares out are the same, mm. like your guard side. Not it's almost like I tried. Yeah. yeah. You must have put some thought into that. <laughs> the idea was. You built the flat tray and then just added on pieces. Yeah. 
and then painted it all, made. and it looks like a complete package once you do Pretty that. Pretty much, yeah. How long did it take you to build it? <laughs> <laughs> I think three solid weekends was just in fabbing it up, like cutting all the steel, welding it all, powder coat and paint for about a month, but because I was unorganized, it sort of just dropped it in there and it got done over a few weeks. It was probably another three weekends of assembling it all. So all the boxes are all rev nutted in, all siliconed up, so it's all hunky-dory. There's a few weekends in it. All the floor had to be riveted down and then running power. That gray box there has its own 12 volt system going to it. Okay, Look, have you seen this map? Have you seen the speakers? All right, well, we'll get to that. Oh, <laughs> Look at these little buttons on his toolbox. Um, Look at this. Yeah. I'll um, open all this up. We'll get it all sorted first. It's fucking big stuff. Behind the back seat, got a 170 amp hour. Yeah, it's all behind there, so you can see if you want, but there's just a back seat in the way. <laughs> um, 170 amp hour slimline battery from Kickass. Yeah. So that's just mounted. Yeah, behind the seat. Next to it, it's got an Enerdrive 40 amp hour DC DC charger, and then it's got also an ARB air compressor, single compressor behind the back seat. Power coming from that dual battery into here. Got a little sneaky fuse holder in there that runs all the power for all stuff we're about to go through. Got these little flush mount switches here. Um, that overhead lights for when I run the rooftop tent. Um, I've got a little hardcore strip light yeah. that goes under that. And then next one's just a water pump. So. Yeah. <laughs> it's something to do with like having a shower on the ground. <laughs> Stock tow bar, but raised tow bar brackets because otherwise it sits like down here. Yeah, I thought it was bad as a Ford Ranger. Yeah. No, I thought it, bad. it was sitting a bit higher. Uh, so that that's the bracket there. Yeah, so that bracket there just bolts on and replaces the factory bracket. What are we up to here? Oh, we got the bloody speaker up there. Yeah, so fridge on the back. Fridge? ARB. Yes. I assume it's ARB. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's handy, this one. Everyone goes, aren't you afraid of getting knocked off? It's got anti-theft brackets on them. It's also got a little pin lock on it, so you can lock your beers up if your mates want to steal them. <laughs> yeah. And it's all weatherproof, so it's actually advertised as a weatherproof fridge. Ah, so, so it's actually it's meant to be the, out in the yeah. rain. So it's warranted for that. I actually don't think there's any difference in the compressors because it's still all open. I think it's more just the color of it being reflective and stuff like that makes it run a lot better. Yeah, so well, it, look, it definitely looks cool. I like the look of it. it looks great. Fridge. <laughs> and then got the speaker up top as well. Probably can't see it too well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I just have that cranked all the time. It's actually sick. This is crying in my fucking stomach. Oh, we haven't got to the interior yet. Oh yeah. Oh. A few cheeky dime bags being thrown around inside the interior. Tell me more. So, to spice up the interior a bit, uh, fitted a set of uh, GD86 bucket seats out of those Toyota bloody sports cars. Yep. Um, so keeping it Toyota. Yeah, keeping it Toyota so all the airbags work and all that so it all plugs in and it's all compliant and you don't need to worry about the airbags basically. Yeah, so it's yeah. all plugged in. Dude, and it's got that? one more option that you'd be... they got seat heaters in them, but we're still in the process. Of... It's got all the wiring there, just need a switch to make them work. So if we can get that working, it'll be like, game on. Boom. It's pretty cool, like... Just when I thought it wasn't going to get any better, he showed me that. And I was like, far out. Yeah. They're, they're pretty good. Have you sat in it? No. All right. Come on, review. Here's the test. Oh. Custom handle. Custom handle. Oh, that really holds you in. <laughs> This would be great on the tracks. I feel like I should have a five point race. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what are these? What are these? Uh, they're just custom handles from custom cords on Instagram. Yep. Oh, GME yeah. XRS radio. Mm. Comes from the abyss. Yes. Break, break, break just, to make these work though, I did have to chop the mounting rails of a set of brand new seats. So. so before you do it, make sure you actually want them because you can't put the original seat back in yes. easily. They are toast. They're toast. Yes. We got more switches. Air compressor switch, uh, front diff lock, rear diff lock, descent control. That's standard. These That's ones are standard, ones. these ones are new. Ford doesn't have spots to add things. I just bought a steady panel the other day. You see, there's another five ah. panels off to the right of the steering wheel yeah. to add stuff in. 
Yeah, I don't know. Ford just went, nah, no one's going to put a front locker in this. It doesn't need it because it's a motherfucker Bard Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I must admit, it's weird. I got, I got the same truck for work and it bloody switches everywhere. Is this the SR5 model? Yes, SR5. Oh, it just keeps going. I actually forget to tell yes. everyone what the lift is. So, three <laughs> inch. Oh, it's a bit two and a half inch now. Yeah. Um, suspension lift with a two inch VMN body lift in it. Okay. So, four and a half inch total. Yeah. In video, it's a bit hard to get get the feel of it but it is quite a high it's quite a big Hilux like it's bigger than my nav when it's beside it engine mods nothing no engine mods yet we'll see what happens yeah maybe some bigger injectors and the turbos and these are really good they've got an upgraded turbo and from factory these ones have a upgraded head over the old 2.8s yeah. so these ones actually come out of the factory with probably 150 odd horsepower yeah. I think they make so it's yeah a little bit more than the old ones did. It goes really good at the moment, like I'm not complaining with how it goes, but yeah. can always have a bit more. I'm not gonna say we did something illegal like a street race, but I did beat you. Shit. <laughs> I was in eco mode. <laughs> <laughs> Both had throttle grenades right up to yeah. nine plus explode mode. Uh, <laughs> just two huge dicks racing down the road, really. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I don't think we're gonna air down as such today, but there's a few little play hills out the back of this area. So get Blakey on there, get some footage of the highlights. I'm sure you're all aware of how capable his rig actually is. Seeming the last video I did was him doing Big Red, one of our toughest tracks we have around here. So, get some footage out here, have a little bit of fun. Should be good. Alright, full tyre pressure. <laughs> it's only like literally one hill, we're not letting our tyres down for one hill. Yeah, I was about to ask what your cruise control was set at. Oh, oh good drive. Oh, good drive. So, hey, Blake. Yes. You wouldn't have seen stuff like this before. I, I haven't, no. <laughs> That's a real office. There she goes. You. I made that look really difficult. It's okay, it's your first time. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're here now. Look at this from weapon. Let's have a look at this. Don't get too close. <laughs> Don't go too close, he yeah. says. Can... Twin lot Luxie, yeah boy. This is what I was missing. Yeah, the rear bar, eh? <laughs> She's a oh, $200 bar off Marketplace, cut it up, hold her on. Oh, happy days. You always have to tell people the slide isn't new, otherwise they think, oh, yeah. You yeah. <laughs> What's that tree do to you? So these are pretty easy, like, I mean, as per usual, you get out here, it's going to be a lot more intense than it looks on this video. But yeah, if you want to go test these skills out, this is out behind Clounder Industrial here. So, do little step ups off the road and, I mean, easy to recover if you stuff up. 
Don't be fooled. You can do damage out here, so be careful. You on your uh, green peas or your red peas yet? Uh, green now. Green, green peas? Just, it's just adjusting the arms. Walks it. Ah, you're a boba. Go a bit left. You need to ride both walls. Easy peasy, Japanesey.